Are you prepared to go out on a brand new voyage rife with excitement, adventure, and surprises? So, let's get going. This video is made for educational purposes and contains significant original text commentary. A train barreled into a large semi-truck that got stuck on its tracks, derailing the locomotive. The driver will likely face prison time and his company is bankrupt. That was the calmest derailment I've seen in a long time. At least no one was hurt. That just happened. Everyone perform regular visual inspections of all tires, checking for signs of wear, bulges, cuts, or any irregularities. Oh dear, that truck was going fast. If only it was a bit low. No way, he doesn't have a turn signal? It truly causes discomfort for others, man. Did they miss the exit so they tried to overtake the truck? Hope everyone is okay. And this is the same case. If you witness a situation like this, contact local law enforcement to report the incident. Pray all of them are fine. Ah, uh, he was speeding a bit. Glad no injuries and the bike has little damage. Glad he's okay. Ah, uh, that was a pretty slick looking Lexus. Sudden turns, accelerations, or decelerations can increase the risk of hydroplaning. Make smooth and gradual movements, man. Perhaps he could have averted this incident if he had run a little slower. Pray that everyone is safe. Police in Rockdale County were led on a chaotic chase by an accused bank robber. The suspect is accused of being connected to many bank robberies, ultimately getting pinned. This is the scene when a metro bus caught fire on the 10 freeway near Boyle Heights. The driver and the passenger got out safely of the bus. At least pull off in the emergency lane, man. They were either stopping to pick up some stuff they had lost off their vehicle or stopping to scavenge the stuff. Wow, he just had this on the best of his day. Glad it wasn't me. I always tarp my load so this doesn't happen. Oh no, seems the truck couldn't be saved. Snow on the road reduces traction between your vehicle's tires and the road surface. Driving at lower speeds allows for better control and minimizes the likelihood of skidding or sliding. Damn. 
only way he could have gotten out of this is by airing down, putting it in four low and riding the brakes a little to transfer some power to the wheels. A strong wind arose before a downpour and knocked over three trees right on the road. A car was damaged. Thankfully, no one was injured. Is this the infamous tunnel in Russia? Please pay attention to the road, man. Man, don't overdrive. Luckily, there were no collisions. Sometimes it's not possible to go up steep. If only it had less concrete. Oops, when you're not attentive on the road, such an incident is likely to happen. Be careful. Oh, uh, why are there no lights on this road? Yielding is a demonstration of courtesy and cooperation among drivers. Let's shared responsibility and consideration for others on the road. Oh my, glad there were no injuries and no collisions. Bro, he could have avoided that. He had plenty of room. Anyway, applause goes to the driver with the camera. He slowed down so he wouldn't run into it. It's a terrifying experience, but it's nowhere as bad as I thought. It slid down slowly without flipping over and over and came to a stop quite calmly. Oh dear, maybe this is how the bus fire starts. Have you ever witnessed someone driving the wrong way? If you can't feel that, you don't need to be driving. Oh no, the red semi-truck appears to have approached the corner traveling too fast. Keep your eyes peeled, folks. You never know when a car might pull a disappearing act and reappear right in front of you. What is this? We had a lot of space. The police took away his driver's license. Cops like, sure, you can come into my lane. That's a $90 entry fee. Well, someone lost their driving job. The amateur video shows the tractor trailer stalled on the tracks in Locust Grove, Georgia, as the double stacked freight train approaches. There's no way trucks can fit over trains, but they'll try it all the time. The incident occurred in Texas after the truck became stuck while trying to cross over the tracks. Glad no one was injured. Slippery roads are no joke. It's a reminder to slow down and drive like there's black ice around every corner. No, going too fast and can't control it. Best they hand their license back now. Good to hear everyone's safe. Drive with caution in icy conditions for a Merry Christmas, everyone. Ooh.
back across. There it goes. Everyone's okay. The speed of the bus was not slow either, so the driver could not do much. Oh no, did that driver just forget about mirrors? Mirrors are there for a reason. It is clear that when a driver of the car perceived the risk, he tried to accelerate, but this was no longer sufficient to avoid the problem. It's great luck that they are fine. What a tremendous amount of luck it would take for an object of this size and mass not to cause a massive incident. Driver gets spun around by a semi-trailer while trying to overtake the truck, but who's in the wrong? Wow, that pole is built for tough. I was supposed to see how much force it absorbed like nothing. The complete lack of awareness in some people is absolutely frightening. I hate it when people stop cars trying to turn and cross on a dual carriageway, when there are no stop signs or traffic lights. Brakes on stationary traffic are red flags. Car crossing should not have proceeded if unsafe. Oof, one truck thought it could play chicken with another. Grateful that everyone is safe. Yikes, they tried to navigate that winter obstacle course, but the snow had other plans. I wonder if they were on the phone. It looks to me like they do notice and try to pull over, but they think there isn't room with the on-ramp coming up, keeping going for whatever reason. And there goes the tire. <laughs> I think the incident happened due to failure to observe the following distance. If it is observed, it would have been a nice and calm Saturday for both parties. What I see on the road is nobody cares. I prefer to put the car down on the weekend. I see this will be the secret of a long life in the future. Driving isn't a TikTok dance challenge. Keep it steady on the road. It's funny and sad at the same time. The people are so irresponsible. Oh dear, that guy's driver's license should be revoked. Well, this is not the first time that someone tried to retaliate like that. Has anyone ever been a victim of road rage? Well, they hop back into the truck and drive away like it's just another day in the neighborhood. Maintaining a safe distance provides you with the time needed to react to sudden changes in the traffic situation. This is especially important in emergencies or if the vehicle in front suddenly brakes. What? He turned on his turn signal only after he collided. Well, the first car on the scene just sails blithely without a care in the world. No, a taxi driver did not give way to a loaded truck. As a result of the incident, the heavy truck overturned on its side. Huh? 
when everything is white. Be aware of your vehicle's load capacity. Overloading plus excessive stress on tires, increasing the risk of a blowout. Well, an incredible small pickup truck moving a whole house in Brazil. I bet he got multiple tickets. Seriously, you need to think before you carry anything. This over a 93 mile per hour police chase, a suspect ignored a motoring van and drove a stolen Audi A3 fitted with false plates. Ah, uh, looks like the right rear wheel is coming off just before the slide. <gasps> Holy sh Wow. Seeing this brings me joy. At least he was already pulled over. Nice example of how to follow an appropriate distance. White car did not stop at the stop sign. Oh my, not a care in the world from this truck driver. How to make a U-turn? I think he needs some tips from you guys. Things happen in Palm Bay, Florida. He speeds past OP on I-95 at about 85 miles per hour on very wet roads in the middle of a downpour. Man, conserving time this way won't get you where you're going anytime soon. Good job investing in solid protection gear, man. Glad he ended up all right. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that just happened. Good luck with repairs or dealing with insurance, bro. Thankfully, he was wearing good gear. It seems like those frame sliders did a good job protecting the bike. What? Is he thinking turns on the turn signal? Then it's his right to drive? Oh, this happened when a truck and a bus didn't want to share the road with each other. Oh dear, doesn't he see the wires on the ground? Oh no, does he intend to combine two lanes into one? Oh, why does he have to be in such a hurry? Eyes on the road, mirrors in check, and vigilant awareness of surroundings. It's every single moment behind the wheel. Well, for this reason, I didn't want to drive beside the trucks. Anyone want to bet on what he did behind the wheel? Texting or sleeping? It feels like the company boss is reluctant to change the tires, since he is not the one driving the car anyway. Never pass in the right lane. Do they understand this?
Question is, did they learn anything from that? Do you agree that these kinds of collisions occur on a daily basis? Hmm, probably running from the cops. Kudos to everyone for driving defensively, otherwise the situation might have been even worse. Thank you for watching videos from start to finish. Share your favorite moment in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please show your appreciation by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. See you next video!